hello welcome back to the channel i am back at nature today i'm at the same location that i was in the last video i am alone this time my friend is back at home and i am out here with my camera today i've only just decided to start filming but so far i've got some amazing macro shots of a spider and i've actually recorded its behavior making its web that was really interesting to observe and i'm so proud of myself for getting that footage so the spider that i just photographed is called the european garden spider but it's also called the crowned orb weaver i love orb weavers i think they're so cute I'm doing all this coming out into nature probably once or twice a week from now on and observing everything from a, something as small as spiders to moss to the trees themselves is because we have to do something in uni called a field journal or a field notebook and this is basically to record everything that we see in nature my tutor that does this part of the course is absolutely amazing I love him so much already he calls us all naturalists which makes me very happy over the summer I lost interest in this sort of stuff wildlife and nature just because i wasn't really feeling it it was a pandemic and i couldn't really go many places but tim who is the name of my tutor has re-energized me and i'm back out and i'm currently looking at some mushrooms which look super cool and i'm going to photograph them in a minute and i'm right by the stream and it sounds amazing and it looks amazing and Things are pretty chill right now. And this is so cool to just be out here alone observing. I actually came down here with earphones in because I thought, hey, while we're doing this, why not put in my earphones, listen to some music? But then I got here and I was like, fuck that. I'm gonna listen to the sounds of nature. I'm not good with bird calls, but there's some birds around. And this is what I'm working with for the next three to four, five weeks, I think. An absolutely brilliant area there's just so much overgrown stuff which most people would find annoying but i love this just want to say um just coming on here to say um i feel like a genius right now because i just got a really good fucking shot i've been so like not confident with my photography loop recently and maybe it's just me but this shot just looks really fucking cool so there's these mushrooms here and there, it's just exposing itself. It's on a timer right now. But does that not look cool? Oh my God. Touch these fungi here, which I probably shouldn't touch actually. That's a bad idea. They're called polyparasi, if I remember correctly. And they grow on um, dead hardwood or hard dead wood. I can't remember what it was. This is definitely dead here. And they do grow by streams. That's certainly something interesting to put in my field journal. I've never come across mushrooms that look like that before. Maybe it's just because I don't spend enough time outdoors, which I'm starting to now. And it's really interesting. Hmm. So I think it's time I do some long exposures on the water. I'm going to disconnect my extension tubes, which I just used for macro on the spider, and do some long exposure photography. I'm going to talk about the equipment I'm using real quick because this is something I want to start doing. Of course, I use the same camera over and over and over again but it's good to start talking about it because eventually I'll start borrowing equipment. So far I've used some extension tubes, which are just some really old Canon ones. They were a 21 and a 13 millimeter, either combined or I just used a 21 millimeter on its own. This is my camera setup. I've got a Benro tripod here and obviously my camera here, which is a 550D, as well as a 17 to 85 millimeter lens. And I watched the lecture from one of my tutors earlier and she was talking about wide angle versus telephoto and although my lens is obviously quite limited apparently anything between i think 24 and 35 is wide angle so that's what i'm going to stick with for now for photographing the water covered in mud because I've just sat down in the mud and taken a long exposure just so I could get a lower vantage point 
all down there. I don't know if you can see that. Mud everywhere. It's on my shoes. My shoes are wet. My socks are wet. But I'm happy because I think this is some photography that I can actually be proud of for the first time in a while. Um, I, obviously, I'm proud of my photography every time, but I feel like I've accomplished much more. I've been looking deeper into the settings and how to actually set it all up rather than just zooming in where I feel like it. I'm actually paying attention to these small things, which has definitely helped a lot. So I'm really happy with the work that I'm going to be submitting this week and you would have seen it all throughout the video. So this is me saying goodbye because I'm back where people are and oof, I'm still self-conscious about filming in public. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with what I got and I'll definitely do more of these. If I'm coming down twice a week, me and you together will get to know this woodland very well. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, it helps the channel. And also subscribe and leave a comment if you do have any comments. I will see you next time. Goodbye.